Imagine a silent, tracked platform, capable of traversing rugged terrain and armed with one of the world's most potent anti-tank guided missiles. Russia has now presented a system that combines the mobility of a drone with the devastating power of the Cornet A TGM, raising serious questions about the future of armored combat. How will existing defense strategies adapt to counter the threat of such versatile and lethal unmanned platforms? This is what we found for you. In late February 2025, a video surfaced online showing a Russian experiment with ground-based robotic platforms. This time, it features an unmanned platform called Varan, which has been fitted with the Okotnik combat module carrying three Cornet anti-tank missile launchers. The system is remotely controlled via cable or radio. This latest innovation from the Russian defense sector combines advanced robotics with the powerful Cornet anti-tank guided missile system. The Cornet anti-tank guided missile known in Russia as the 9M133 Cornet, which is a highly effective and versatile weapon system designed to defeat a wide range of armored targets, including main battle tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, and even helicopters. Following this news, Rostec also reported that the system had been upgraded with remote control capability. The control range is up to 100 meters, and up to three launchers can be connected to a single control panel simultaneously, with maximum target engagement range is 3.5 kilometers. Regarding Varan, this platform entered serial production last year after undergoing battlefield tests. By 2025, Russia plans to ramp up production to approximately 300 units. Varan is a multifunctional platform designed to perform various tasks on the battlefield. It can operate on batteries for about eight hours, reach speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour, and carry a payload of 200 kilograms. The operational range is up to four kilometers without relay and up to 10 kilometers with a relay. However, Varan is not the only UGV option in Russia's arsenal. The Okotnik combat module, which houses the Cornet ATGMs, can theoretically be mounted on other robotic platforms as well. In fact, several other attempts to integrate Cornet missiles into UGVs have been made. In the next chapter, we will examine two other notable projects that have emerged in recent years. To start, in January 2025, one of the famous military media reported serial production of the Marker Land Robotic Complex with the Cornet anti-tank missile. Developed by NPO, this versatile platform is poised to play a significant role in modern combat, particularly in the context of the ongoing war in Ukraine. The Marker unmanned ground vehicle ability to carry powerful armaments including the Cornet ATGM, and potentially deploy swarms of drones, positions it as a formidable asset on the battlefield. Regarding Marker, it is designed to carry out a range of missions, from combat engagement to reconnaissance, making it a highly adaptable platform in modern conflict zones. Marker comes in two versions, a wheeled model capable of achieving a top speed of 80 km per hour and a tracked version that reaches speeds of 70 km per hour. Both models offer a cruising range of up to 1,000 km on highways, ensuring they can cover significant distances without requiring frequent refueling. The vehicle can also overcome water obstacles up to 0.8 meters deep, giving it an edge in environments with varied terrain. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Marker UGV is its future integration with drone technology. In spring 2023, Yevgeny Dudorov, the executive director of NPO Android Naya Technica, revealed that the Marker UGV 
would eventually be capable of launching swarms of small kamikaze drones. This capability could enable the marker to deploy up to 100 drones, which would significantly increase its firepower and versatility. These drones, equipped with explosive payloads, could target enemy positions, supply lines, and vehicles with high precision, further complicating the enemy's defense efforts. The Marker UGV's introduction is particularly timely given the ongoing war in Ukraine, where the effectiveness of unmanned systems has become a pivotal aspect of modern warfare, especially in contested or high-risk areas where human soldiers are vulnerable. The integration of robotic platforms with existing weapon systems is becoming a common trend on both sides of the conflict. The concept of combining separate military components to create more effective combat solutions is not unique to Russia. Ukrainian engineers have also employed a modular approach, integrating commercially available systems to enhance battlefield capabilities. For example, Ukraine operates the Shabri system, which combines the Shabla machine gun turret, which is an automated weapon station capable of mounting light to heavy machine guns. This weapon integrated with the wheeled Lynx UGV, allowing for a remotely operated mobile weapon platform. By combining firepower with mobility, the Shabri system enhances the combat effectiveness of units without increasing manpower. Another system is Themis UGV, which consists of Tamara machine gun turret, the storm grenade launcher, and the Wally system. The Themis UGV's open architecture allows for the integration of various payloads, including weapon systems, tethered drones, and IED detection devices. As both sides continue to develop autonomous combat technologies, one thing is certain. The role of robots in modern warfare is no longer science fiction. It is today's reality. So, that's all for today. See you in the next update.